Hello! It is 10 a.m. and that means it's time for another edition of GSC at Home. My name is Niall and I am an astronomer with the Planetarium at Glasgow Science Centre. Today I'd like to talk to you about a planet with a rather funny name. It's called Uranus. Uranus. First things first. Where is it? Uranus is the second most distant planet in our solar system. Only Neptune is further away. It is 2.9 billion kilometers away from our sun. In astronomy, numbers get very big very quickly. So to help us navigate them, scientists refer to astronomical units, or AU. To put it in perspective, the Earth is one AU away from the sun. But Uranus, on the other hand, is almost 20 AU away. It is so far away, it takes light from the sun two hours and 40 minutes to reach the planet's surface. Uranus, Uranus is, is far, far away. away. But where did that name come from? William Herschel, a German-British astronomer, discovered Uranus in 1781, and it was the first planet to be discovered by telescope. Now, Herschel was an amateur astronomer, but he had a smart plan to get paid for his work by gaining a royal patronage from the king at the time, King George III. Herschel looked to name this new planet, Georgium Sidus. Or to put it simply, Planet George. Planet George. The king loved having a planet named after him. And he gave Herschel thousands of pounds to build even bigger telescopes. And also at this time, George Square in Glasgow was named after the very same king. Apart from Earth, all the planets in our solar system had been named after Roman gods. Would we really have a planet named after a king? Scientists from outside of Britain came up with an alternative. They came up with the mythological name Uranus, the ancient Greek god of the heavens. Uranus was Latinized to become Uranus and is the only planet named after a Greek god. Now, even though the majority of people called the planet Uranus, there was a very prominent holdout. Her Majesty's Nautical Almanac Office. Which at the time in Britain was in charge of listing all of its official names for the planets. And it staunchly stuck with Planet George. In fact, it took until 1850, 70 years after it was first discovered, for everyone to agree on the name. Finally, Planet George became Uranus. But why was Uranus chosen over all the other gods' names? Well, it was to create a family tree. You see, Uranus is the father of Saturn and the grandfather of Jupiter. Now we know why the planet is called Uranus, should we talk about its physical properties. It's a large planet. It is almost four times the size of Earth. And even though it's bigger, it spins much faster. It means that one day on Uranus lasts only 17 Earth hours. But because it's so far away, it takes 84 Earth years to orbit around the sun. This means in Uranian years, I'm less than one year old. Uranus is also one of the coldest planets in our solar system. On an average day, the temperature is minus 200 degrees Celsius. Very chilly. Very cold. Most planets in our solar system rotate west to east, just like us on Earth. But Uranus, as well as Venus, rotate east to west. Uranus also has a nickname, that of the sideways planet. And this is because, very uniquely, it rotates along its orbital plane, that is to say, the path it takes around the sun, rolling like a wheel. A theory behind this unique tilt 
is that it collided with an Earth-sized object many, many years ago. This unique tilt also means that Uranus has the most extreme seasons in the solar system. Each pole has winters lasting 21 years with no sunlight. That's 21 years in total darkness. Very dark. There are 27 known moons in orbit around Uranus, and they're the only moons in our solar system named after literary characters. All of the others, apart from our moon, of course, are named after mythological figures. And most of the moons of Uranus are named after characters from William Shakespeare. For example, the largest moon of Uranus, Titania, comes from Midsummer Night's Dream. Here's a question for you. What planets in our solar system have rings? Now, you probably said Saturn, and you'd be right. But did you know that Jupiter, Neptune, and Uranus all have rings as well? In fact, Uranus has 13 in total. Now, Uranus is also what we call an ice giant. Its surface is covered in water ice, ammonia, and methane. And in its atmosphere, we find hydrogen, helium, and methane again. And it's this methane that gives Uranus its blue-green color. That's because methane absorbs red light and reflects blue light back to our eyes. Uranus, Uranus is, is bluey green. green. It's time for a huge question. Could there be life on Uranus? Unfortunately, Uranus is one of the loneliest planets in our solar system. Due to its materials, pressures, and temperatures, it's just not suited to life as we know it here on Earth. The only spacecraft to visit was Voyager 2, all the way back in 1986, as it whizzed by on its way out of our solar system. And even then, it took Voyager 2 nine years to travel from Earth all the way to Uranus. And since then, we've sent nothing else to the planet. Very lonely. And that brings us to the end of our tour of Planet George. Did I say Planet George? I meant Uranus, of course. If you have any questions, please leave a comment on our Facebook page or tweet us at GSC1. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you again on GSC at Home. That's all from me. I'm off to look for Planet Nile!